I've really struggled with my mental health. Uh, it hasn't been a positive experience. It's been quite a burden on me over the last couple of years. Medical students face many external pressures, including long study hours. However, the internal pressures are often overlooked. If taken to the extreme, this can lead students towards a mental downward spiral. My experience um, with my mental health as a medical student has been a bit um, up and down. I've had a lot of things go on in my life and honestly I didn't think I was going to be able to start third year. There was a lot going on. School wasn't the hardest thing and mum always used to tell me you've got to kind of use that to you know, help people as much as you can. I think when I was a lot, like my dad passed away when I was two and she used to always tell us to use, you know, use your compassion for other people. Ever since then, that was the goal. In 2018, levels of very high psychological distress were significantly higher in medical students, at 9% relative to the 3% in the general population. In 2019, approximately one in five medical students had thoughts of suicide in the previous 12 months. Last year there was a student in one of the upper years. I didn't know this person, but there was apparently someone who committed suicide last year. I have a friend who's a psychiatry registrar and she said that there were two people in her cohort back when she was studying who likewise committed suicide. It definitely reminds us that we just need to keep looking out for each other. The expectations I place on myself can sometimes be almost unrealistic. I tend to be quite perfectionist in my approach to my study. It's been a significant factor in affecting my mental health. Sometimes I don't reach those unrealistic expectations and goals and it can demotivate you. Hi, my name is Sophie. I'm a medical student. I've been asked to take your blood pressure today. Is that all right? People always say, oh, you're a med student. You'll be fine. Like stresses are normal for you. I bet you're so smart, which almost enhances those expectations on yourself because then not only do you want to make yourself and everyone proud, but you don't want to let them down. In WA, getting into medical school is a very long and complex process. As well as maintaining HDs across all units, students must sit a six hour long exam known as the GAMSAT, which tests their problem solving, empathy and reasoning skills. If successful, an interview will be conducted at their chosen university. The student must perform very highly in all three areas to be made an offer. An exception to this is Curtin University, which only allows students to enter medicine straight after high school. I believe the complex process of getting into medical school uh, can be quite daunting and actually quite complicated. Uh, I'm currently going through it right now and it definitely takes time away from your studies. It's long, the GAMS at six hours and more often than not people repeat that two or three times. Some of the exams cost $500 to $700 to sit each time um, and you've also got to take into consideration uh, study materials as well. COVID-19 has shaken the foundations of our future medical workforce. Without important hands-on experience, the pressure placed on students has increased. I found that with COVID-19 this year, whether it's to do with studies, but generally stress has been higher. We missed a lot of physical classes, which although impacts all university courses, was a, had a big impact on our medical training because we couldn't learn how to examine patients. We couldn't learn how to sit and actually feel if a bone is broken. And so we're now expected to go on in our studies with that assumed knowledge, but we've never actually practiced it. There's four places where you've done the scopes we've got here, here. Although this issue is very much prevalent amongst the med student community, the universities each have their own programs and support groups to assist the students. The mental health first aid programs targeted towards basically members of the general public and I think anyone can benefit from a course. You, you might come across you know, friends who have depression, friends who have anxiety, friends who might be experiencing psychosis for the first time and I think it's important for anyone to do. I think Notre Dame does a really good job at stressing how important you know your mental well-being is throughout this course. What I found this year having I guess things happen personally is it's a bit weird when you are a medical student. I think anyone, not just a medical student, but anyone who has been taught or had experience in mental health because you learn about I guess the signs and the symptoms but then when you start to experience them yourself it's a bit strange because you actually notice them and there is that stigma to push through because you know you, you're aware of it so that must mean you can overcome it. Once you do reach out the uni has so many resources and they help as best they can. Curtin does have a mental health training program in place, it teaches you about the general 
um, mental health conditions, how you would help people in those situations and how to notice the warning signs both in yourself and others so that everyone coming into the med school has already a general awareness. If you or someone you know needs help, call Lifeline on 13 11 14.